So it's December 2nd, the countdown to Christmas is on, though according to the Sears Christmas catalog I received back in August, I am about four months too late. Anyways, um, you've probably noticed the regular case videos have kind of slowed down uh, before the holiday season. We do have a few more planned, but for now we're gonna be taking a look at this little segment um, and what we have in front of me. Basically what it is, is we wanna make sure that you have the right stuff on your holiday list if you're planning to do, say, a computer build or upgrade or you wanna give your family some ideas. Now, if you aren't familiar with the retailer ncx.com, please be sure to check them out because they have been kind enough to help make this little segment possible. So here's what's in front of me. I have a few things that I have scoped out for myself. We have the Logitech G19 keyboard and the Western Digital TV Live. So we're gonna take a look at the G19 first and make sure that it is something worth purchasing. All right, so I know some of you are probably saying, oh, the G19, it's so, it's so gimmicky with its LCD screen and it's overpriced. Well, you know what? If this is gonna be my first keyboard in about four years now, um, I wanna make sure I, I do it right. So I really don't need to show you the box though. I do kind of like their little tagline here, stay informed while you game. Ah, so great. You're gonna be running CNN titles while I am fragging somebody in Left 4 Dead. Um, anyways, what we have is start off with the, with the keyboard. Um, it's completely black um, and it does have the sort of what sets it apart is this little LCD screen up on top. If you've seen the G15 or the G11, I don't think the G11 comes with a screen. The G15, on the other hand, has a screen as well, but it is not uh, full LCD. Um, we have a sort of a power adapter here. Um, you have the bottom wrist rest, um, and underneath it all, we have just our drivers. So it's pretty slim packaging, but that's a-okay, because all it is is a keyboard. And here's the thing about peripherals like a keyboard. It's a very, very personal thing. So what is good for somebody may not always be good for somebody else, but we're gonna go over the features and you can sort of decide for yourself. So the first thing I liked about the Logitech keyboard is the fact that it has the raised keys. I've been using, like I said, a Microsoft keyboard that has flush keys. I just find it harder to type. I'm not a big notebook sort of keyboard style of guy. So I just like that it's very easy to type on. I find that the keys are well separated and they have enough click, I guess you could say. Um, they respond very well, they're soft to the touch, um, and it just feels nice when you're actually being able to type on it. We have 12 programmable keys on the side as well as sort of three uh, set keys, I guess you could call them. So effectively you have up to 36 programmable macro keys on this keyboard. You have the typical keyboard layout, including the number pad on the side here. Um, then you have your volume adjustment as well as your other media keys, uh, mute button, etc. cetera. Um, and then up at the top there is all the LCD control. Um, and of course the most prominent feature on the unit is the LCD there. All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna be using a laptop to test this keyboard out, mainly because I don't wanna to have to set up my whole computer up on the desk here. Um, now here's the thing that is a little different with this keyboard. It actually is going to require a separate power connector just to power that LCD. We will go over here and plug in the regular power. And we have our screen boot up here. Um, you will have to install the Logitech software onto the keyboard beforehand. I've already gone through that. It is very, very simple. They also give you the option to set up profiles for your for popular games such as World of Warcraft. Uh, there is Ventrilo setup, um, and I believe they even have Adobe Acrobat. All right, so here's kind of the hot deal with the keyboard is this LCD screen. It can show things such as your basic, uh, your basic date and time, uh, stopwatch stuff. Now it can actually show videos on here, which is pretty cool under your My Videos folder. Um, the other cool thing you can do is browse YouTube because you always want to be on YouTube. Um, let's take a look at the most popular here. What do we have that is exciting and interesting and isn't going to get me banned for copy protection. Uh, here we are, let's look at a game here, a sports game. And you know what, the colors aren't half bad, surprisingly. The audio actually plays out of your computer speaker, so you can adjust it from there. Uh, football game here, and the viewing angle on it isn't bad either. I'm looking at it straight on right now. Uh, the camera is slightly angled. Um, and it's surprisingly good. Now it's a little small. You're looking at a, you know, a two and a half inch, three inch LCD screen. So it's going to be um, a little difficult to see and you're likely not gonna be watching something on here when you have a computer monitor in front of you. So um, that feature is probably a little useless unless you're a very good multitasker. Um, you have a performance monitor which will monitor CPU usage on your computer. Um, you, can browse, you can browse your pictures straight from here. Um, and we're back here. Now the other thing you can do is it also has support for a, a whole ton of popular games. Um, some of the latest things, you know, it's gonna be able to show your ammo or your stats or whatever. Now those are all sort of 
extra things that when you actually install the game and play it, um, it will be able to do. So now here's the real deal about it. Um, this keyboard retails for about $220. Now the second generation G15, I believe it goes for under 100. So you're paying quite the premium in order to have this little LCD. Um, is it worth it? That's sort of a tough one. I really like this little LCD. I could see myself using it. Um, I tend to multitask a bit, you know, watch YouTube videos while I'm playing games or something. Uh, and just the ability to have it is pretty cool. You get the functionality of the G series keyboards from Logitech with all of their macro keys. I love the feel of the keys. They're soft, um, very easy to type on. You know, it's not a mechanical keyboard in terms of the response, but they've done a very good job with the, uh, with the rubber style, I believe it is. And otherwise, I really don't have any complaints aside from the price that you wind up paying for the added extras. So if the LCD is something that you're into, you think you'd get a lot of use out of it, or you find it pretty gimmicky, or you have extra money and you want to impress your friends, uh, it's a great little tool. Otherwise, something like the G15 or the G11 is going to give you the same feel and the same functionality, aside from maybe these little volume extras here. Um, it's gonna be the same sort of experience without the higher cost. So if you're looking for a great keyboard, highly recommend so far the Logitech G series keyboards and the G19 in particular. All right, so I lied. We're actually gonna be taking a look at the Western Digital TV Live on Friday. That's in a couple of days, so be sure to check back then. In the meantime, guys, we want to review what you guys wanna see. So head over to www.ncx.com and find something that's available that is on your tech upgrade list or an electronic gadget or something that you want to see reviewed. Hop back over to YouTube and pop it in under the comment section. Over the next couple of weeks before Christmas, we wanna take a look at as many of these products as we can and give you guys feedback and sort of let you know what to expect. So don't forget to subscribe and give us your ideas. Um, we'll see you next time.